Good morning and welcome to Missoula Real Estate Today. This is Denny Bedard. Missoula Real Estate Today is presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate. Diane's been working with buyers and sellers in the Missoula market for over 25 years. Along with her trusted partners, Diane provides complete service for your real estate transaction and brings us guests who provide useful information on industry-related topics and trends. And now, Missoula Real Estate Today on News Talk KGVO. Hey, we're happy to have you with us on Missoula Real Estate today and our uh, uh, community awareness series of programs, if you will, continues. Diane Beck at Windermere has donated a lot of uh, this show's airtime to uh, to local nonprofits. And we have a returning guest, Samantha Dennison. Samantha is program director for Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Northwest Montana. Welcome back. Happy New Year, Denny. Happy New Year to you, too. Thanks for coming in. And there's a reason we have you here in January, which we will... Uh, get to shortly but some listeners might be thinking gosh i thought big brothers big sisters uh you know that that went away a few years ago but you became big brothers big sisters northwest montana Ex- explain that and uh, folks they they have been here uh for a while now right yes we have thanks denny so we have um been big brothers big sisters northwest montana serving everything from north of kalispell to south of missoula for about three years now so there was actually a very small turnover between the missoula chapter closing um which was a loss to our community sure thankfully uh kalispell came absorbed our area and we became regional and and that is a fairly common occurrence throughout the country with Big Brothers Big Sisters is turning into a regional model. And so now we serve the whole Northwest region and have offices in Kalispell and one right here in Missoula. So uh, the, y- y'all get along real good then, right? We <laughs> all get along real good. It's just up the road, like we used to say. <laughs> As program director, what all does your position entail, Samantha, the Big Brothers Big Sisters? So at Big Brothers Big Sisters, we are a small but mighty team. Mighty so there team. is two staff in Missoula, and we are responsible for um, recruiting Finding the families, finding the volunteers. We are in charge of putting on events. We are in charge of uh, interviewing all of the people, matching them, match support, which is what makes our program a gold standard, um, and following the relationship from start to finish. I also get to meet and visit with lovely people like you, um, thanks to Diane and the gracious donors and community partners that we have here in Missoula. So a little bit of everything. Right. I think you've always had a positive impact. Uh, has there been a, a positive increase in awareness since you've reestablished your presence here in Missoula? As you said, there wasn't a lot of downtime there, but I think uh, many people thought there was a, a, a big yeah. gap of downtime. Yeah. There was not. So it, the, the onus on you, of course, to yeah. increase that awareness. And I hope that's been a positive yeah. experience for you so far. Yeah. Well, right around that turnaround, there was a, a, a little you know pandemic that we all um, were thankful to survive through. And so we really had very limited resources in having this kind of coming out party, if you will, um, of celebrating the fact that we're still here serving Missoula. So that was our last year. So 2022 was a very big year for us in Missoula, Um, part of which we had, you know, a very generous donation from our local Fraternal Order of Eagles. Please tell us about that. So they were uh, generous enough in giving us nearly $25,000 this year, and that was a huge a huge support, as you can imagine, sure. um, not only financial support, um, but it allowed us to get those press releases, get that um, recruitment out there, getting our name out there. We also um, spent over 40 hours this summer in tabling at local events um, and really working with our community partners, Boys and Girls Club, Target Range Elementary, um, to get those kiddos, get the word out. Um, my recruitment strategy is build the relationships with those who have the relationships. So really trying to find well um, the people that already work with our families, yeah. um, work with our current volunteers, seeing if we can recruit bigs from their workplace or their gym or their um, running club, right? Mm-hmm. So um, we have almost quadrupled the number of inquiries this year just from us really pounding that um, drum in that we are here and we are looking for more, more, more kids and volunteers uh, to grow, grow. 
Gee whiz, that must be a pretty good program director they got over there, Big Brothers. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> yeah. and, and I'm glad you phrased it the way you did, um, because uh, the Eagles Lodge, which is just down the street here a few blocks mm-hmm. from our studios at Town Square Media, but they uh, they always step up. They're very, very generous mm-hmm. during our annual Kissmas for Kids fundraiser. They're they're just uh, uh, very they're, they're just great that way. But was was there a, a connection uh, i mean that is that is an awesome donation but uh, was was there just some sort of connection or or the eagles just felt you know this should be part of our philanthropy yeah so the um there's a president um every year and um the president gets to decide what nonprofits that they want to support and so we were lucky enough that um jared was the president for a couple of years and he just really grew Grew, grew, grew that donation. Yeah. So it really was um, a lot of effort to Jared, which we deeply appreciate. We've also participated in some of their Christmas giving programs yeah. with our families. Um, they're incredibly generous for Thanksgiving meals, and so we've some of our families have participated in that program as well. Um, so they are. You are right. They are incredibly generous to many, many nonprofits, and we were just lucky enough um, to be one of them. Missoula Real Estate Today, presented by Diane Beck here on News Talk HVO. That's Diane Beck with Windermere Real Estate. My guest, Samantha Dennison. Samantha's program director of Big Brothers Big Sisters, Northwest Montana, with an office here in Missoula. And uh, the, uh, one, of, one of the challenges you, you've kind of been facing now in terms of recruitment, uh, Samantha, we always talk mm-hmm. about, hey, if you want to become a mentor, great, but um, you, you've also got uh, uh, maybe miss. I don't think misconceptions is the right word, but maybe maybe concerns or questions adults have about um, the time and effort uh, in involved. Uh, you know, do they, do they have any concerns about? Well, okay, so my kid could use a big brother, big sister, but I, 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 I don't know. I don't know if mm-hmm. I'm comfortable. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I can trust. Uh, mm-hmm. What 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 are the what are their mm-hmm. issues? Their concerns? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, most of our families that come to us know the basics of what we do. Um, they've either been um, told by a neighbor about their positive experience. We've actually had a lot of parents who were former littles coming back and enrolling their children. So now we're second generation in that family. Um, I can't tell you how pleased I am when I get those phone calls. Big Brothers Big Sisters of America has been around for nearly 125 years. We are the gold standard of mentoring. Um, We don't stay around that long um, without quality, quantity, and measurable impact. And like I mentioned earlier in our interview, the gold standard of what we do is that match support. Match support is a trained professional staff member calling every single one of our matches every month to check in. This is first and foremost child safety. Is everyone feeling good, being yes. safe, making good choices? Second um, of all, we're asking questions about relationship development. Humans are awkward relationships are weird, right? And so this match support helps translate some of communication hurdles, scheduling conflicts. A person who has little to no experience with kids might say, well, now what? Like, what are we supposed to do for a couple of hours a week? Take them to a car wash, bake some cookies, go on a hike. Um, So the match support is really there as a sounding board and as someone who can maybe help um, transition through those just natural relationship sure. hurdles. So that's really what makes our program so distinct. Yeah. And yeah. to show that we take child safety is our number one priority always. And and I think one uh, advantage you do have in a, in a community like ours, Samantha, is uh, uh, Missoula is is known as a, a very a generous community, not not only in terms of, mm-hmm. of treasure, but time. There, yeah. There's a there's a lot of uh, good hearted people that are probably uh, in your fold right now. And while while you always uh, are are well, while you always welcome more bigs who want to be mentors, isn't it a nice position for you to be in right now? That you've got uh, you got a pretty deep pa- uh, talent pool there. That's impressive. We do. We do have a lot um, of bigs who are very excited to meet their potential little, and so um, we're looking for children between the ages of six to sixteen um, who are interested in spending a couple of hours a week with an adult mentor out in the community. We're also expanding our school buddies program, so that's a little different, where the child would meet with their mentor at a school. 
we're expanding that program this year oh, um, to not only serve Target Range Elementary, um, but hoping to incorporate a new site with Big Brothers or that's me, Boys and Girls Club. <laughs> and so looking to, you know, find ways to serve all the kids. Some kids are able to go out in the community create that relationship. Some kids feel safer maybe at a site or staying at school with their person. Um, so really getting creative and finding um, where the kid feels the safest and then finding the mentors that can support that journey. Missoula Real Estate Today presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate on News Talk KGVO and my guest Samantha Dennison, Program Director, Big Brothers Big Sisters Northwest Montana. We got some cool uh, fundraising news we want to tell you about here shortly, but I also want to, because you brought this up a few minutes ago about um, uh, little brothers and little sisters who, who come back as grown-ups to, uh, to see you, which must be very rewarding. But what, what experiences do they relate to you about their time in the program? So I actually have um, a unique opportunity to talk to every single one of our inquiries. And I have families who were littles enrolling now their children. Yeah. I also have former littles coming back to the family as bigs. <laughs> and so um, it's just it, awesome. it just speaks to the quality, right, of yeah. what we're doing when people want to come back or bring their own children into the program. And what I can tell you is the number one feedback that we get one degree of separation. I cannot tell you um, how often I'm out in the community. I've been at this work with Big Brothers Big Sisters for over a decade. I've met people on public transportation. I've met people at the dog park, at work, at volunteering, and one degree of separation. Every single person knows someone who has either been a big or been a little. My aunt was a big in college or, oh, my neighbor had a big brother when we were in elementary school. Um, everybody knows somebody. And um, the number one feedback that we get um, with that program is just having someone. And sometimes the relationships don't last years and years, right? I had my favorite story to tell is I met a woman um, riding a public bus and she told me about when she was a little, her big sister, she could not remember her name, couldn't remember her face. They weren't matched very long, maybe less than a year, um, probably 25, 30 years ago. But what she remembered was her big sister giving her her very first cassette tape. <laughs> and that was the first thing that this child had ever owned to oh. call their own. They had a big family from poverty, lots of people in the house, nothing to call your own. And she said at, you know, 10, 11 years old, it was the first time that I had something to call mine. I mean, if that's not a core memory from someone you can't remember their name, but they empowered you to know that you are worthy of having things to call your own, I don't know how much better it gets. Yeah, that is awesome. You talk about... Uh... This, the small world factor, how many people you've met that, that uh, are bigs or, or they, uh, they were, were littles at one time. And uh, I, I also think from visiting with you, maybe the, the first time we got together was um, uh, it was just sort of a happenstance or coincidence, if you will, that, that you landed the job in the first place, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was wearing my T-shirt um, at the YMCA, and um, Nicole, the um, previous um, program director, saw my T-shirt and said, "Hey, you should what? You should get involved. Are you involved with Big Brothers Big Sisters?" I said, "No, I found an article that they closed," and she was like, "No, no, they're still here." And so, bless Nicole's heart, never stop recruiting for um, the cause, which I appreciate. And so she put me in touch with, uh, yeah, the executive director at the time, and. I was very excited to be part of bringing uh, Missoula back to the Big Brothers Big Sisters family. Yeah, that's a great story. So funny. Missoula Real Estate Today presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate on News Talk KGVO. My guest, Samantha Dennison, Program Director, Big Brothers Big Sisters, Northwest Montana. Also, a great big thank you to some of Diane's marketing partners that also help bring you the show every weekend here on KGVO. Miles Link, Opportunity Bank of Montana. Rob Fleming with Man Mortgage and Carol Blodgett at MakeItMissoula.com. Back to Samantha Dennison with Big Brothers, Big Sisters. I know you're doing you're doing very well here, Samantha, but but you uh, you always want to make sure there's uh, there's folks in the funnel. What what are some of the uh, misconceptions adults might have about the time and effort involved in uh, 
in being a mentor? Yeah, I get um, from the inquiries for volunteering to be a big, the number one question is, well, I just don't know if like I'm what you're looking for. I don't know if I'm the right person. I don't know if I would make a good mentor. I'm here to tell you that anybody can be a mentor, right? I tell my people all the time, the number one factor that we look for um, is just curiosity, is just someone who's curious. Um, if you have, you know, a clean background record, of course, and driving record and your references check out and, you know, you're a stable, you know, functioning human being, um, the kiddo is just looking for someone to walk the path with. Mm. These are kiddos who typically come from big families. Um, sometimes the families um, are just really busy making life happen. And so there's not a lot of one-on-one time to yeah. maybe explore those hobbies. Right. Sometimes it's just go. I have a, a match here in Missoula and their goal last year was to visit all the parks because the kiddo just didn't get a lot of time outside oh, all the city to parks really, yeah, time? <laughs> to really like exude all that energy of a seven-year-old boy, right. right? Yeah. And so his big brother's like, "Well, I can do that." And so they meet every week, and they go find a new park, and they grab a bite to eat, and that's their couple of hours. And that's 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 what makes the power. That's what makes the impact is just having someone think of a mentor that you have had. Everyone can immediately think of someone either from their childhood, a professional mentor um, that just took a special interest in you. And sometimes it doesn't take much. Just how's it going? Yeah. And actually listening right to the answer. Um, remembering that you had that test. How did that test go? You were kind of nervous, right? It's having someone that is in tuned to your experience and cares enough to kind of walk along that with you. And it literally can be going to a park, throwing a ball and then grabbing a burger. I suppose you still deal a little bit with the, um, the, the whole demographics concern or objection to as well. At my age, I'm, I, I'm too old. Or, <laughs> well, gosh, I'm in my early mm-hmm. 20s, late teens. I'm, I'm too young. I, mm-hmm. I, I assume you still deal with a little bit of that. Yeah, the, the yeah we do. To overcome we do. And it, just, it, it just does not exist, right? I mean, it that, does not I mean, exist. No. It does not exist. And that's because we have um, such uh, an outstanding staff who are professionally trained mm-hmm. in interviewing and assessing every family that comes in and every uh, volunteer that comes in. So there is a you know, deluge of, you know, factors that we look at for compatibility um, in personalities and interests. And we take a great deal of time to provide a quality program, not just quantity. So it would be much easier for us to just slap people together and up the numbers and here, look, we have all these matches. And that's not what we do because that's not benefiting anyone. And so sometimes the wait for our bigs is long. Sometimes you as a big might be waiting six months because we are finding that kiddo that hits as many boxes as possible based, again, on interests. If you're a 65-year-old woman who loves to quilt and write poetry, I guarantee you there's a kiddo out there looking for that, right? If you are a 20-year-old who loves to hike and play with dogs and, you know, reads anime, I can guarantee you, you're not the only one in the world that likes to do that. I can find a kiddo for you and vice versa. You know, kids come to us with um, background of trauma, sometimes learning disabilities, sometimes just needing to hang out, just looking to expand their horizons with new interests and activities. And so we can fit people. And it's amazing how we were looking at a match introduction photo yesterday. And I said, don't these two look like they could actually be grandmother and granddaughter? (laughs) Don't they look like they're related? And my staff was like, that's so weird how often that happens. Wow, really? That the matches just end up like almost looking like family. It's so weird. It's so weird and cool. That, and and that circles back to, uh, to something you were saying earlier about, um, uh, the the screening process, and I, I think you just uh, amplified right there how how important that is because you're not you're not throwing a, a big at at the dartboard followed by a little at the dartboard and the ones that are closest together yeah. that that's the match of the day. I like to be fully transparent in that our enrollment process for both families and volunteers can take upwards of three months for us to really learn who you are. Um, 
who you would be best suited with. Again, those background checks, those references, those driving records. Um, you know, we're, we're diving deep to make sure that we really know who these people are to ensure that when you get your person, that is your person. Yeah. And I, and I think, too, something that, that uh, listeners need to know, and this will, uh, this will lead into to fundraising efforts, but the, the idea of Big Brothers and Big Sisters program is, is not to have you, the big, uh, be expected to do a lot of out-of-pocket expense, but I imagine that's probably still a misconception, too. Yeah. Yep, that's true. So the um, volunteer is responsible for um, the financial responsibility of the match. However, we provide um, every other month, we provide free activities to all of our matches. So um, this month, we're going ice skating. Um, uh, October, we had a pumpkin carving um, festival potluck. It was so much Neat. fun. We have a huge family picnic every year. Um, we do all sorts of activities to try to help, you know, kind of um, shoulder yeah. that cost. Leave you at the bird a exactly. Bit. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we're not providing Disneyland. I mean, like that That's match right. that I talked about um, earlier about just going to a park and grabbing a burger, right? right? Yeah. And so you don't need to put pressure on yourself to provide this, you know, once in a lifetime opportunity every Saturday. It really is, you know, sometimes just driving to Bonner and visiting a new park and being like, whoa, I've never even been over here. Yeah. You know, sometimes going to a new grocery store, right? And saying, like, let's make some no-bake cookies. Sometimes kids have never done that before. Exactly. So it really is just incorporating them into your life. Well, while we still have time here, let's talk a little bit about a couple of your uh, fundraising efforts. I'm with Samantha Dennison, Program Director, Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Northwest Montana, office here in Missoula, on Missoula Real Estate Today, presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate. Uh, you, you had your first ever um, uh, bingo fundraiser in uh, early November, mm-hmm. I think. Thank you for the invitation to uh, to have me be your, your, your bingo. Your darn hip. Yeah, you uh, you invited me to be your your bingo caller, and my hip replacement surgery uh, won out. So, so I think I'd have had more fun. This at the year, bingo. you're on the calendar, buddy. All right, there's fine. no getting around it. Uh, I, I think the uh, the bingo would a lot been a lot more fun than the uh, hip replacement, but it's it's working out okay. How did that? Where was it? How yeah. did it go? What was the the, the goal? Tell us about yeah. your because everybody loves bingo. I mean, um, who doesn't love bingo? Well, yeah, I love. Uh, I, I get to call at least once a year at the the Western Montana Fair for Seroptimus. Yes. And and uh, that, that's just a, a hoot. Love but, Rita. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Rita Gray. How, how did all that go? Yeah. So thanks to uh, Rita Gray and the Seroptimist, Nikki as well, um, and the fine folks over at Zach Community Arts Center, right. uh, we hosted there. And then um, volunteers helped us put together a really fine event. Um we put together, I think we had 12 baskets. Average basket uh, winning was valued at $275. Oh my gosh. So people walked away with some pretty nice stuff. Yeah. Um, and so we just had so much fun bringing people together, sharing the work that we do. And again, just flying the flag that Big Brothers Big Sisters is here. Um, and we are looking to build community support. And so this is going to be an annual event. So we're really excited um, to work with our local advisory council this year to double um, the size for 2023. We also have a possible new event brewing um, for late spring. So we're really looking to just plant our roots. Um, My motto is to grow and to deepen. So we want that quality and uh, the quantity and the quality. And so really making um, some deeper and some more community partners, um, businesses, things like that um, to help this program grow and serve serve all the kids who need or want a mentor. And that's really how we can utilize January being National Mentoring Month. Yeah, they, oh, let's get to that. Yeah, you get you get a whole darn month by golly. A whole when you're, darn month. When you're yeah, with we big do. Big Brothers, Big Sisters. Uh, January is National Mentoring Month, and uh, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Northwest Montana, celebrating the entire month here, uh, uh, bringing attention to mentoring and the impact of of mentoring on local communities. But what? Uh, how did you? How did you get a month? And then what? Uh, what is? 
What is the significance of that? I mean, it, it sounds, obviously, it sounds 30 times bigger than one day. But, you know, you say, hey, it's a month. This must be something uh, pretty special. But uh, what all went into that? Yeah, so this is a national mentoring right, month, and right. so it's a it's a federal kind of celebration um, of all mentoring. So September is actually Big Brothers Big Sisters month, but we like to really. Um, you know, really highlight the positive impacts of all mentoring. So we are one option of mentoring in our community. Um, there are other mentoring programs um, that are really doing such incredible work. Um, some are group mentoring, some is one-on-one, um, but we really like to um, bring focus to the power and the impact of mentoring. Again, you can think of that one person that took a special interest in you and how that possibly could have pivoted your whole life's journey, sure. right? Um, or like the girl who got her first cassette tape from her big sister, you know, that instilled a true sense of value in that child. And so um, National Mentoring Month is really to highlight, again, the impact that mentoring can have not only on individual children, but those children grow up. Yeah. And those children become community members themselves and those people become workers and they become family members. And so it's really to create healthy, sustainable, inspirational communities through that one to one mentoring. Well, I better not uh, let this sneak away. Uh, speaking of fundraising efforts and things coming in, you've got you've got a big one real real soon, right? Yeah. This uh, this program, Samantha and I recorded this program a couple of days ago. It airs uh, this this weekend uh, that you're listening Saturday or Sunday, but. Very, very soon you're going to be at uh, DraftWorks, is there? Yeah, so DraftWorks was um, gracious enough to host our volunteer appreciation event. So this is a fundraising event as well as an opportunity for us to uh, appreciate and recognize our current volunteers. So um, we will be at DraftWorks Brewery on Tuesday the 10th right. from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Um, with a small donation, you can be entered into winning a, a large uh, Shields gift gift card and our bigs will have, you know, we'll be there to talk about our program. We'll be able to treat them to a beverage and just really kind of celebrate, um, the, the giving that these people sign up for, um, to give every, you know, week, a couple of hours to form these relationships. Um, and some of them serve in larger capacities to recruit and to spread the good word of our work. Um, and so we really want to appreciate them at DraftWorks. And by golly, bring a friend too. You got a little, bring a friend, bring a friend, bring all the friends. And this is an opportunity for me to just remind the community that it's not just bigs that make our program work. There are many, many ways if you are looking to be a part of this agency to volunteer. We have an advisory council. Um, we're looking for businesses to, you know, host uh, match activities or events, businesses to maybe give coupons to our matches to, again, help shoulder um, that cost that our bigs accrue for activities. So there are many ways to give back to your this work um, outside of being a big. And uh, another thing that, that you brought up here, I just kind of looking through our notes. Um, you could you could host an event or an activity, right? Yeah. If you wanted to be, I, I I guess I'll rely on you to give an example of that. But uh, if if you if you have a business where maybe you thought something, yeah. a, a social gathering like that might yeah. fit, yeah. open your doors. Yeah. So we offer, <laughs> like I said, we offered those, you know, uh, match activities every other month yeah. to help our um, big. So, you know, if you have a business that can provide, you know, I don't know, rock climbing or bowling. I mean, we, we've we been all over the place. And so if you want to have, you know, some of ours, maybe you have a talent. We've also gone up to Blue Mountain and done um, like first aid, outdoor first aid safety with someone who donated their time to to teach right. our matches what to do, right, when you're out in um, the woods. So um, lots lots of ways to get involved. So if this work speaks to you, if mentoring speaks to you, please give us a call, um, and I'd love to talk about how um, we can involve you in the work. All right. Samantha Dennison, uh, Program Director, Big Brothers Big Sisters, Northwest Montana, here in Missoula. Uh, besides making a phone call, you got a website people can visit too, right, Samantha? I do. Uh, it is incredibly long and lots of <laughs> random letters. Okay. So just look us up, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Northwest Montana. That will uh, get you there. 
It'll get you there. It'll get you to me. All right. As always, you've been a wonderful guest. I appreciate you coming by, and uh, happy uh, happy, happy mentoring month to you. Happy mentoring month. Thank you so much to you and Diane. It's always a pleasure. Thank you for listening to Missoula Real Estate Today, presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate. Email dianebeck at windermere.com or... For a complete directory of Diane's listings, visit MoveToMissoula.com. That's Move, the number two, Missoula.com. We'll see you next time on Missoula Real Estate Today.